accounts receivable in AFDA Problem 4. A company reports net accounts receivable of $156,000 on its December 31st Year 4 balance sheet. The allowance for doubtful accounts AFDA has a credit balance of $20,000. What is the balance of accounts receivable? This question is all about account receivable, allowance for doubtful accounts, which are difficult concepts for students, especially if you're new to accounting. Don't worry, we'll get through this. So remember, if you're ever dealing with a difficult topic, always start by looking at what the question is asking. It's asking, what is the balance? The balance of account receivable. So pretty simple question, or at least you think. Now we're told the company reports net account receivable of $156,000. So first, let's, let's stop there. What is net account receivable? So net account receivable is synonymous with NRV, net realizable value. And remember, net realizable value, accounts receivable minus, think about what we subtract away. I'll give you a hint. It's a contra asset. We subtract away the allowance for doubtful accounts account. We subtract that away and we get NRV. So NRV is the same as net account receivable. It's the same idea, same title, synonymous. And here we're told the amount is $156,000. So we also look at other additional information. We're told the allowance for doubtful accounts has a credit balance of $20,000. So AFDA has a credit balance of $20,000. Ah, oh, look at this. We can work backwards to solve for what is the amount of accounts receivable. Now, before we go ahead and we plug in our AFDA, we have to ask something. We're told that AFDA has a credit balance. First, AFDA, what kind of account is that? Well, I already said earlier, AFDA is a contra asset. Contra just means opposite. Now, whenever we have debits and credit balances, which in my bit accounting basics videos, I like to focus on the horizontal method and many faculty focus on journal entries. The reason why I like the horizontal approach a lot is because of the accounting equation, which is the central focus of accounting, assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity, you can make sure and show how those balance. Now with the journal entry approach, debits and credits are extremely important. I mean, that's important to all of accounting, but really the focus of journal entries, debits and credits, the equality of that. Let's bring up DLOR, our favorite acronym, D E A. L O R. Remember what this acronym is. The idea is that there's six types of accounts that are listed out here. And if you draw a line down the middle between the A and the L, the drawing expenses and assets increase on the debit or left side, and the liabilities, owner's equity, and revenue increase on the right side. Well, the A is for assets, like accounts receivable, it's an asset, and AFDA, allowance for doubtful accounts, is a contra asset. Contra asset means the opposite. If assets increase on the left, a contra asset increases on the right. So AFDA increases on a credit balance. We're told AFDA has a credit balance of $20,000. That means it's going to be a positive $20,000 here. Now we know our formula, accounts receivable, which is question of which we don't know the amount here, minus $20,000 equals $156,000. So we can use algebra here. Basically what you do is that, as you know in algebra, we're going to um, do one side to the other. That means that we're going to take $156,000 plus $20,000, and that's going to give us $176,000. So accounts receivable here is $176,000. 176,000 minus AFDA of 20,000 gives us a balance of $156,000 NRV. So the correct answer and ending the problem, 176,000 is the balance of accounts receivable.